Hello, my name is Liesl. Canvas recently updated their shadow tool and today I will quickly show you how it works so that you can easily add some depth and interest to your design. If you would like to know more about shadows, check out this video after this one. To illustrate the new shadow effects in Canva, let's go to Elements and I'm going to look for a notepaper element. Let's use this one. And just because I love everything branded, I'm just going to change it to my brand colors. I quickly want to duplicate it. And the duplication is for illustration purposes only. You'll see right now what I mean. So you will click on your first image. You will go to edit image. We will move down to effects, shadows. And when you look at that, you will see that there are four new blocks here at the bottom. The curve, the page lift, the angled and the backdrop. And each one of them makes it really easy for you to add a special effect to your image. So let's click on curved and you can see now suddenly your paper looks like it, there's a little bend in it. Let's do the next one, page lift, angled and backdrop. So you can see here that very easily you can add a different look to your element or your image just by changing the type of shadow. Now, not only can you add a different type of shadow, you can also edit that type of shadow. So to do that, we will go back to edit image. We will go back to our effects. And when you scroll down a little bit, you will see that you will be able to blur the amount of shadow that you have. You can also change the distance and you just do that by sliding the scale to the left and to the right. In this case, you can also exaggerate your curve and you can change your color. Now, this one is the one that I would most probably use most. I find the black one very harsh, so I will just choose a lighter gray, which would make it look nicer. And then your intensity. So you can make it also a little bit lighter and darker by using this button. Now let's have a look what this effect would have on photographs. So not just the cutout image or element. So we will click on our photograph, edit image, effects, shadows. Let's click on curved, page lift, angle, and backdrop. So there you can see we've got the same image, but just by changing the shadow, each one of them have a complete different look. I hope you found this helpful today. I hope you learned something new. If you've got any questions, please leave me a comment. And thank you so much for staying until the end. See you next time. Bye-bye.